back here in Rife Lake, and uh, this time the fish seemed a little bit deeper, so we're gonna stack, or we're stacking on the downriggers. And uh, I learned a really neat trick on stacking from my buddy Corey at Sportco. And so you just made some homemade setups uh, that uh, consist of a carabiner, a large ring that you can put a duo snap on, and then an eight ounce cannonball, and then you just try yourself about two feet of mono to a regular clip. So on your downrigger, you use a regular stacker release on the bottom or one on the ball, however you want to. And then when you're gonna stack, you clip that carabiner around the downrigger line. You hook your line up to the release. You need a line counter to make this work, but that uh, eight ounce weight loads up your rod like it's in a downrigger and you use your line counter to go down uh, the line to whatever depth you're targeting. Now the nice part about this with the stacking is if your bottom, bottom rod goes off, all you do is drop the stack to the ball and you just keep redoing it. And these just stack up on the ball until you're out of them. We probably have 10 or 12 on the boat. Makes it really easy to stack. You don't have to mess with the downrigger ball or the cable, move it up and down. You just use your carabiners to move your line up and down the ball. Hope that tip helps you. It's a really quick and easy way to stack on a downrigger. All right, Pete was talking to you guys earlier about uh, the stacking method he uses. He's about to hook one up here, so you can kind of see what he's up to. So he's got a standard downrigger release on one end, ring on the other, snaps a carabiner on there, and an eight ounce weight with a dual lock snap. So there he's gonna let out his line to, you know, just like you were going onto a downrigger ball, let it out uh, however far lead you want behind your uh, downrigger setup. So now you snap the downrigger clip into your line, just like you would on the regular downrigger ball. And then that whole mess, the beaner snaps around the downrigger cable. And then as you let it down, you just watch your line counter. And essentially that, that replicates what the bottom ball is doing on the downrigger, except you don't have to keep ripping the ball up and down every time to restack your lines. So once you pull that thing out of the downrigger clip, the cannonball and all that stuff goes down to the ball. So when you pull that ball up, depending on how many times you do it, you may have a little bit of gear. So I went 50 feet on the downrigger and I had 70 feet out behind the boat. So just take the line counter to 120, that puts me 50 feet down. Pretty simple. Good hack though. <laughs>